For the first time, we are hearing from a grandfather who says a St. Louis City deputy saved his life after a carjacking. News 4 was first to tell you that deputy is being charged with murder now for killing the carjacker. The grandfather who owned the car says he does not support that charge. So, uh, just really sad about what's happened to him. And I'll be there in court for the whole time. The St. Francis County man showing his support for the deputy who was off duty when he left into the potentially deadly situation in North County. Well, tonight, News 4's Julia Avery talks one on one with that grandfather as well as his daughter, who is thankful she still has her father and child who were treated or excuse me, who were threatened by the carjacker. When I was speaking with the victim today, it was obviously an emotional story to tell, but he told me what happened one year ago at the Spanish Lake McDonald's. He said he was there with his grandson waiting for their food when a stranger came up to their window and stabbed him with a screwdriver. So we're inside of my, in that truck, that Dodge Ram truck, and he's on top of me with that screwdriver, trying to stab me in my chest, in my face with that screwdriver. He said it ultimately led to a chase, which ended in Deputy Buchanan shooting and killing the suspect. Since Buchanan's indictment, Burkett said that he hasn't gotten to speak to Buchanan yet, but he's been in the courtroom for him. I asked him what he will say if he ever does get the chance to speak with him. I'm sorry that this is happening to you. I thank you very much for saving my life, my grandson's life. But without him, I don't think we'd be here. Yeah, I don't think we'd be here. So I'm just really sad about what's happened to him. And I'll be there in courtroom for him the whole time. Without him, I don't think we would be here, is what he just said. And these are photos of Burgett with his grandson. He added that he's sorry that the victim's mother has to lose her son, saying, quote, I wish it had not happened, but it did. Now, he was with his daughter today when I spoke with him. His daughter is also the mother of the child who was there at the scene. She said to me, that man tried to kill my family. He put himself in a situation, and that was his own fault. I feel sorry for the mom, I do. But for her to say he should have waited for backup when her son's intent was to kill my family, I'm sorry. Uh, that is, that's, I can't really get into it. I'm downtown, Julia Avery, News 4. The St. Louis City Sheriff Vernon Betts has told News 4 he backs his deputies' actions. New tonight, he's taking aim at those claiming his deputies aren't legit officers. We get 160 hours of training, and then throughout the course of, uh, of your career at the Sheriff Department, two times a year you have to go back to qualify on the gun range, and then at least once a year we go back over your MACE training, OC training, and all those. So the, the training is constant. Bet says his department is in the process of getting all deputies the 600 hours of training needed to become post certified. That stands for police officers standards and training, and that gives any officer the authority to make arrest on the streets. But Sheriff Bet says even without post licenses, his deputies have the proper training to act when they see a crime. We owe it to the citizens of St. Louis to provide the greatest degree of safety that we possibly can at all times. And we can't sit back, see something happening, and then say, we're not qualified. I'm not going to intervene. No, we're going to intervene. The St. Louis County Grand Jury considered a lesser charge against Deputy Buchanan in voluntary manslaughter. Ultimately, they chose to indict him on the murder charge. Sheriff Betts believes his deputy should not face any charges.